Hey everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today the funny little scooter I'm sitting on is the eMove Roadrunner. Now I know it looks small, but this thing is powerful. It's got two motors and goes over 30 miles an hour. Let's check it out. I'm not kidding, this thing is ridiculous in all the best ways. Yeah, it looks small and funny and unassuming, but this little guy hides away two motors, which is the secret to its power. There's a 500 watt motor in the rear wheel and a 350 watt motor in the front wheel. And you just know the peak power of the two combines to much more than 850 watts. Now they say the top speed is 34 miles an hour, but that's a serious claim and I was not about to let it go unchallenged. So I used a GPS app to verify the top speed, and what do you know? Not only did I actually get a confirmed 34 miles per hour out of it, but I must have had a bit of a tailwind at one point because I briefly saw even higher speeds. It's hard to describe the feeling of doing 30 plus miles an hour while feeling like you're sitting on a step stool, but it's a blast, trust me. Now to get that kind of power and speed, you need a big battery, and the Roadrunner has one. This battery here is rated for 48 volts and 26.1 amp hours. That's over 1250 watt hours of capacity, and it's pretty easy to remove too. There's a key down here that you turn, and then you slide the thing out. It's a bit stiff, but you'll get it in the end. Look how big this sucker is. I mean, you can see how the scooter is basically just built around the entire battery. This is a big old pack. And that's pretty much what you have here. It's like they told some engineer, build an electric scooter, but forget all the rules. And so they basically built a giant battery connected to two motors and threw a seat on top of it. There's even more to the story here though, because you actually get other features that you probably wouldn't have expected. Not only is there suspension up front, which is probably a good idea for such a fast scooter that rides on little 14 inch wheels, but there are also hydraulic disc brakes. Now they're technically hybrid hydraulics, as they use a cable to actuate a hydraulic piston located down on the calipers, but they definitely have some strong stopping power. There's also a full light package with headlight and taillight, plus the taillight has turn signals too. The turn signals are pretty close to each other, so I'm not sure everyone will recognize them as turn signals, but they are yellow so they stand out a bit from the red taillight. It's probably still a good idea to use hand signals though, but it's a cool feature nonetheless and you can even turn on both of your turn signals as hazard lights. You know, like if you park in the fire lane in front of a grocery store just to run in for 30 seconds. I just needed some eggs, I promise officer. See, I put my hazards on. The handlebars also fold in, which makes the scooter even more narrow, helping you stick it against a wall or maybe slide it under a bed for storage. And there's even a horn, which sounds a bit funny at first, but then you start to realize why it sounds that way, or perhaps why they named the scooter this way. And with a weight of 55 pounds, you can actually pick up the eMove Roadrunner pretty easily. It's not like a big heavy scooter or a moped that it's going to be difficult to throw in the back of a car or in the bed of a truck. The small wheels and short wheelbase make the Roadrunner extra nimble. You can make tight turns with it, and if the turns are ever too tight to keep your speed up, it's easy to just put your feet down and maintain stability. For many riders, that alone is a huge advantage over both tall e-bikes and awkward standing scooters. Putting your feet flat on the ground is a comfortable and convenient safety net for a lot of people. So yeah, the Roadrunner is admittedly a funny looking vehicle, but if you can get past the looks, I think there's a lot of utility here, and even though it's small, it's still comfortable to use. I'm on the shorter side at 5 foot 7 or about 170 centimeters, and I feel great on it. I've had some friends that are borderline up closer to 6 feet try it, and they look so-so on it, but they seem to have a fine time handling it. The bench seat means you can scoot forward or backwards a bit, and the handlebars are even height adjustable. Plus, the scooter has a weight rating of 150 kilos or 330 pounds, so pretty much anyone is going to be within the weight capacity. Ultimately, I can see the use case here. If you want to pedal, this is not the vehicle for you. Get an electric bike. But if you specifically want a scooter and you want it to be fast and compact while giving you the stability and confidence of something you sit on, this has some real advantages. 
you're not going to find many standing scooters with 14 inch wheels. So while the wheels do look small compared to a bike, they're huge wheels compared to standing scooters. With a price of 1695 bucks, it may sound a bit expensive at first, but remember it goes 35-ish miles per hour and has a huge range of around 50 miles or 80 kilometers from that massive battery, so you're paying for a lot of performance here. Plus, you can take 7% off for around 120 bucks off if you use the coupon code ELECTREK. There's a link in the description below this video. So at just over 1500 bucks with the savings, for something that goes way faster than most e-bikes and e-scooters, there's a lot to like here. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that review of the eMove Roadrunner. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time. Living on the far side of town Sharing a dream with anyone She's made it through heaven She's made it through hell It's just another story to tell